Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I tell you what, man, it's good to be back out here kind of getting back into the swing of things and doing this on a weekly basis. I kind of feel like I'm getting the hang of it again, but we're out here at a lake here in Benbrook and this is an Army Corps of Engineers lake. So, it, you know, honestly, it's not the most beautiful lake that I've been to, but I picked this site because it is just secluded. There's a couple of campsites, probably a quarter mile either way of where I'm at right now. So it's just, it's going to be a really, really quiet, peaceful, uneventful night, hopefully. There's my fire ring. I've got a nice little picnic table that I can enjoy some donkeys on and look out at the lake. And there's a ton of birds out there right now. So that might make for some cool little drone footages if I'm brave enough to fly over them. But we'll see. I don't know how that's going to go. But also, you can probably see... Old Betty White still here. So Ford's making me out to be a liar. So tonight we're going to be going back to the truck tent setup because honestly it's a little bit more comfortable than that tiny, tiny little coffin that I slept in last week. To be honest with you, it really wasn't that bad. Once I fell asleep, I didn't know that I was cocooned in. But tonight we are going to be sleeping in the truck and I can already tell that my truck is kind of severely angled. And I don't have any leveling blocks to drive up on. So I'm probably gonna have to tinker with where I actually park before I get that tent set up. But, but you guys have seen the drill for setting up the truck tent. So I'm gonna get that thing set up and kind of go figure out where I wanna put my lazy donkey drinking chair at because there's just a ton of room out here. I got a lot of spaces to pick. Hopefully I'm not gonna be stepping in too much mud, but I mean, I can get right down to the edge of the water here this is actually pretty cool i'm digging it i like this site no electric um no water nothing just me and my donkeys and some dinner for tonight we're gonna get this thing started i'm gonna get that tent set up and uh we'll see you folks here in just a little bit thanks for tagging along So I did go back to that original truck tent because honestly, it's a better tent. You know, it just feels better put together. I enjoyed it more than that second tent. And again, this is uh, Joy Tutu's brand, I guess. I don't know. If you guys are wanting to look at it, I'll put it in the link. But I used this a couple of videos ago and I'm going back to it because I think it's a better tent. So here we go. folks well this is about this is home for the night <laughs> i think these get harder every time i try to put them together i don't know this is a much better tent i will say and this tent came with an awning i have it kind of bunched up right now because i'm not going to use it but it comes with poles to kind of put in the ground and put guy lines to out i'm not going to need that tonight but it's pretty cool if it is raining you have kind of like a little covered shelter before you get out of the tent to kind of help you protect you from the rain but so I'm gonna get the rest of these poles put up <laughs> and uh, we're gonna move on to beverages and relaxing finally. So we'll see you folks in just a minute. Now the trick is tomorrow morning is to get it back in this bag. I tell you what, folks, I, I love this knife. I'm getting a kick out of it. It's just such a fun little knife to bring on, to bring, you know, to camp with you. Literally cuts anything, probably cut through your bone. So I got the donkey poured. Let's get some lime in it. A little bit more ginger beer. Cheers.
So hey folks, check this out. We're about to have like a motorized paraglider fly right over us. I've never seen one of these, so check this out. So I'm gonna try out the whole cotton ball soaked in Vaseline trick. See if I can get that to work tonight. Figure this is more fun than using a lighter. Well, we got that fire finally going, and I'm going to cheat on the charcoals and use a fire starter. All right, these coals are about done for my taste. All right, give those about two or three more minutes and I'm gonna throw a chicken breast on there. I'll show you guys what's next for dinner. For the seasoning, we're gonna be using some Cajun style, spicy Louisiana classic chicken seasoning. Kind of kick this up a notch, hopefully. Give it a nice crust on it. I'm gonna flip this. Season this side. And that's all she wrote for the chicken breast. And Let's give I'll... this a flip. So while that's heating up, I went ahead and uh, pre-made at home some linguine noodles, just because it's easier. And uh, I didn't feel like boiling water and waiting for these to get al dente. So I've got some pre-made linguine noodles. <clears throat> and we're gonna stick this pot, kind of break these apart. And then we got some 
creamy basil alfredo. We're gonna pour on here. And we're essentially making blackened chicken alfredo. I think that's gonna be enough. Give that a good stir. Stick this over here on the grill, let that start to warm up. Sauce is good. Chicken's about done, so I'm gonna, I got some bread here. I'm gonna butter it up and throw it on the grill. Throw it out right there. Chicken's done. Give this one last stir. And we'll take this off and go put it up at the table and begin to assemble this masterpiece. Okay, bread is done. Still smoking. So before it doesn't get too cool, I'm gonna throw some Parmesan cheese on it. Chicken breast. Man, I can smell that blackened seasoning. I'm gonna chop this thing up with my uh, new favorite knife. Then I've got some little baby Roma tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, probably too many. I'm just gonna kind of chop these up. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I probably should have had a bowl, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be enough for me. I think we're gonna be okay. Don't think we're gonna go hungry tonight. Mm. I'm losing my chicken. There we go. That, folks, is going to be dinner tonight. Check it out. Oh. So, blackened chicken. Alfredo pasta. Not too bad. So the Alfredo pot, the Alfredo sauce is really good. I wasn't sure if I would like the basil, but it's actually, it's, it's pretty good. I probably could have cooked the noodles a little bit long. They're not as hot as I thought they would be, but it's cold out here, so it's steaming, but I'm happy. Well, hey, gang, I'm gonna wrap this up and then we'll see you when I'm done eating so you don't suffer watching me stuff my face with Alfredo pasta. But it is good. Well, folks, dinner is done. I am absolutely stuffed. Um, starting to get all my stuff kind of cleaned up. Um, cause I don't want to leave it out cause I don't know what kind of critters are out here. Probably just standard raccoons and, and whatnot, but I don't want them coming and tearing up my stuff. So I got everything kind of picked up and then I think I'm just going to sit by this fire, use up the last of my couple of $5 a piece logs that I had to buy and we'll hop into the tent. So. Oh.
folks, I think that's going to about wrap it up for me tonight. I actually <laughs> switched over to my heated jacket because it's getting, you know, fairly chilly. I think the temperature right now is 39 degrees, so it's not crazy cold, but cold enough for me to want to put this thing on, get a little bit of heat because I forgot my heated blanket. So hopefully between this and my uh, pretty heavy duty sleeping bag, I'll be all right tonight. But <clears throat> I'm going to crawl into bed and we will see you inside. say um i got rid of my or i sold my bed rug and it i didn't realize how much of a difference it made just climbing into here having that cushion that that bed rug has because it it <laughs> it hurts my knees climbing in here I, I know i'm getting old but uh my gosh just having that bed rug made it so much nicer crawling around in here on your knees it didn't hurt so i didn't do very well tonight in packing i don't have a heater luckily i brought this jacket but it's, it's, it's a little chilly, so hopefully tonight won't be too bad. We'll make do. And I'm actually gonna put a ch uh, table up so I can have, so I don't have to hold my iPad. I know, first world problems, right? go perfect watching a movie in comfort in the back of a truck <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing but we're gonna make do with what we have so guys thanks for tagging along so far um i sure am ready to get my new truck and show you guys the build up of it and, and build the cabinet and the bed and changes i'm gonna make from the lessons that i learned last summer um, i'm so excited about that so I'm, I'm just itching to get that new truck my gopro keeps dying on me i don't know what's wrong with it so hopefully some of these videos come come out but it's been having to repair my files every time i record something so hopefully all of these videos i can still use but i don't know but i also forgot my pajama pants so fail on me for all of the stuff that i forgot tonight but it's nothing major it should be okay but Anyway, folks, I'm going to sit back, and I'm actually going to watch uh, Pelham... What's the name of that movie? The the train movie with um, John Travolta and Denzel Washington. Pelham 143 or something. The Taking of Pelham 123. So I've got that, and I've also got D.B. Cooper, Where Are You, in case that movie sucks. Because I love I love uh, watching things on D.B. Cooper. I think it's just fascinating that, they, that that's, that's still unsolved. That just blows my mind. But anyway... Folks, we're going to kick back and relax and watch a movie, and I will see all of y'all folks in the morning when we wake up. It is cold. <sighs> 32 outside right now. And it is only 5.30 in the morning. Uh, I woke up because my hands were cold and I couldn't fall back asleep. So, <sighs> probably going to go ahead and pack up everything and wait for the sun to rise so i'm gonna have an early start this morning uh i am gonna go ahead and get my <laughs> jacket turned on get some heat going 
I tried to sleep in that thing, but it was just too bulky to sleep on, to sleep in underneath the sleeping bag, but that might have helped, but it just felt like I was just wrapped up too much, so. Yeah. Critical lesson that I learned last night is make sure that your truck is just absolutely as level as possible. And I got it as level as I thought that I could, but I'm still just a little bit slanted toward the lake. And all night long, I felt like I was just rolling off the bed. Not much I could do about it. I don't have any blocks I can drive up on, but... <clears throat> I hope you folks can make out the clouds in the sky. It's almost like my light is <laughs> lighting up the clouds, but obviously it's not, but it looks really kind of weird. So I'm not even going to try to put this thing in the bag right now because it's still so damp and wet. So I'm going to take it home and lay it out in the garage and let it dry out and then play the game of get the tent back in the bag. I got my truck running just to keep it kind of, just to get it warm inside. But I wish I could have fallen back to sleep because it's cold and dark and got about an hour until sunrise. But we're just going to hang out and make some coffee and try to get a good good shot of the sunrise when it happens so stay tuned Folks, I think we got kind of lucky this morning because there is a just line of clouds right behind me that's coming over. So I think we got what we're going to get for a sunrise this morning. And it turned out to be really, really pretty cool with these real light clouds right here. So I'll take that as a win this morning because probably here in about 30 minutes, we're going to be covered up with clouds. But hope you guys like that footage. It looked pretty cool on my phone. I'm going to go head up to the truck and cook some coffee. And we're going to head out of here. Gang, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you're enjoying that view behind me. Uh, it actually ended up to be a pretty decent little sunrise this morning, despite the clouds that were supposed to roll in. But anyway, I'll take it.
Guys, thanks for tagging along so much, and, and please make sure to possibly even hit that little notification bell because I don't want you to miss next week's video. It's going to be something completely out of left field. You, hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy it if it works out. I'm hoping it will. I'm hoping all the filming pans out the way that I want it to, so it's going to be a completely different video, and it's going to be a lot of fun to do. So, Anyway, folks, thanks so much for tagging along, and we will see you soon. Take care.